Moringa olifera is an amazing small tropical tree. It's sometimes called the miracle tree or mother's best friend in Africa because its leaves are so nutritious. Moringa leaf powder, pills, drinks, skin cream, soap, and tea are now widely sold through the internet or in health food stores. The tree has many other uses as well. For example, Moringa trees can be pruned to about six feet or two meters and used as living fence posts that supply nutritious food and fodder. Closely planted Moringa can be harvested up to 10 times a year by cutting the trees back to eight inches above the ground. The yield of leaves is enormous and those not needed as food can be used as fodder. The harvested Moringa leaves can also be used to improve our garden and farm soil as mulch or in high quality compost. This approach makes Moringa an excellent edible green manure crop. The seeds of Moringa can produce a good cooking oil called Ben oil. The crushed seeds are also very effective in purifying drinking water. All of this makes Moringa olifera a model multi-use plant. Yet another use for Moringa has recently been discovered that could be especially valuable to low-income gardeners and farmers. Agricultural scientists from all over the world have been experimenting with a spray made from the diluted juice of young Moringa leaves to stimulate the growth of other crops. The list of crops tested with this Moringa leaf spray include tomatoes, cabbage, okra, cowpeas, wheat, plums, beans, peanuts, sorghum, onions, peppers, coffee, and soybeans. They've all showed increased growth rate and increased total yield. In addition, several of the studies confirmed greater resistance to drought, to salt, to pest and disease, as well as improved seed germination. This benefit is largely from zeatin, a plant hormone that's easily extracted from tender young moringa leaves. The protein, vitamins, and minerals in Moringa may also contribute to the improved growth. Researchers have used several different methods of making the Moringa leaf spray. If you're ready to give it a try, here is a very simple recipe. First, harvest and strip off some young Moringa leaves. Then blend one cup of the leaves in a liter of water. Strain this liquid and dilute it with a second liter of water. Then pour this into a spray bottle. We add a drop of liquid soap to help the spray stick on the leaves. For larger gardens and fields, a pump up or backpack sprayer works well. If you don't have a blender, just fill an old sock with the moringa leaves and pound it with a rock. Then slosh the sock around in two liters of water and wring it out. The diluted Moringa leaf juice is most effective when it is sprayed on your garden plants once every two weeks until harvest. Morning or evening, when it's a bit cooler, is usually the best time to spray. If you don't have a sprayer, dipping a brush in a pail of the diluted leaf juice and flipping it onto the plants will also work. Studies done in Nicaragua, India, Egypt, Nigeria, and Pakistan showed 20 to 35 percent increases in yield for a wide variety of crops from spraying the diluted Moringa leaf juice once every two weeks. Low-income growers usually can't afford to invest in better land more fertilizer or better equipment to increase their income. But better agricultural information is something that we can all afford. Moringa leaf spray could be an easy homegrown technique for gardeners and small farmers to produce more food from their limited space. Thanks for watching.